Chen, Chancellor Scholz, he visited recently the Western Balkans and uh, he also visited Serbia. Yes. And he gave a clear message. Yes. He said uh, openly that without recognition, there is no membership in the EU. Yes. But uh, from this point of view, what does it mean? It means nothing. I mean, they can just continue with the with the it, same thing. You you, uh, you said it exactly right. It was good that uh, Chancellor Schultz said that. It, it, they, it's good. Uh, Berlin, you see, has changed its perspectives uh, a lot on the region, also because of Putin, because of what Putin has done. It has a dramatically different view of Russia, and that uh, uh, and Germany understands that there's only one set of values you can have. You cannot have two set of values. You cannot have uh, a little bit of Putin values and a little bit of EU values. No, no. And, uh, and he's absolutely right on recognition. And uh, I can even explain legal reasons and uh, practical reasons. You can have only one order in uh, Europe. You cannot have a, a, a half order and uh, partition of Kosovo would be disaster, disaster for North Macedonia. This would be uh, vindicating Putin approach of uh, this, same. You want partition of Kosovo, this is like partition of, um, of Ukraine, this is the uh, same thing. Uh, Serbia, look, Kosovo, they compare to Ukraine and Donbass, nonsense, it makes no sense. Uh, Kosovo was a republic. Uh, not a republic, was a, a, a province, had autonomy. Autonomy, yes. And Milosevic unilaterally took away the autonomy. But exactly. it had almost all the powers of a republic. Uh, yes, at, and correct. So it had almost all the powers. It was completely removed unilaterally by Belgrade. Ten years of repression. At the time, Kosovo was led by uh, a pacifist, Ibrahim Rugova, who was not some fighter, a killer type guy. Yes, there was KLA that came later, uh, and uh, KLA, you see a, a position of U.S. compared to Russia. U.S. has had a fair position towards Serbs and protection of Serbs. Albanians who committed war crimes against Serbs had to answer for them. Who w was the only president of any country in the region to have to step down as president and go to The Hague? Only Hashim Thaci. Only Hashim Thaci. And who did that? U.S. and EU together created that court. And U.S. pressure said, we treat all the people of this region. There can be only one order for this region. Everyone has to answer for war crimes. And Albanians have to answer for war crimes. And Hashim Thaci has to answer. He's sitting in The Hague right now. So this is nonsense from Serbia to keep uh, positioning and pushing this and making this some issue of our sovereignty and our territorial integrity. Belgrade has, has to answer. And, and that answer is to respect its neighbors and respect uh, the reality of, uh, of Kosovo as an, uh, uh, as an independent state and as a good neighbor. And Kosovo has its obligations to Kosovo Serbs. And that's, that's the subject of the dialogue. That is the proper subject of the dialogue. Is uh, to Belgrade and Pristina to discuss one main issue, which is the status of Kosovo Serbs in a functional sovereign Kosovo, to make sure Kosovo Serbs have all rights and can live and thrive and participate in the economy of Kosovo as an independent state.